first thing that we need to do is we need to scrub our wheels with hot soapy water. We want to get all of the road grinding brake dust off of them. The next thing that I'm doing is I'm taking water and I'm rinsing out the wheels as best as I can using the highest pressure water source that I have access to. Loosen the lug nuts when the vehicle is on the ground instead of in the air. Now it is I'm using a scuff pad to cut through some of the clear coat that is left. Right now I am prepping the barrel for paint because I plan on painting it. It makes the barrel look much better as an end result. After that, we've got it all prepped up, we're gonna wipe it down with some acetone. Next we are going to mask it off with tape and we want to be careful to make sure we cover the air valve. This is the first primer coat. We just want to fill in all the areas of exposed metal primarily. Following this you want to do light swoopy motions. The purpose of this is to avoid creating runs. I did two light coats with one heavier coat at the end. I did all the same steps for the tire on the rear. If you have the tools available, I seriously recommend taking the tire off the car. Following the prep work, we want to wipe down the rim with acetone. We want to get all of the dust and any other debris off of it. Using the tools I had available to me, I used the low side of the shop bag to just get all of the other debris off. I was really just trying to get all the water off, and clearly there was still some left as you can see. I fall behind this with again the acetone and drag. Once again, we just take the tape and running it along the side of the rim so we don't get any overspray. Following this, I took the playing cards and I stuffed it behind the tape to give me further protection from overspray. The way I prevented overspray from getting on the truck is I took a tarp and I stuffed it behind and actually inside the wheel just a little bit. We're going to do light, even strokes, same as we did before.
While I was waiting for the primer to dry on both of the wheels, I took the center inserts and began prepping them for me. I left my acetone outside, so I opted to just use 91% of an alcohol. I set these in the sun to finish drying off. Following this, I put primer on them. Then I began the actual painting process. I used two coats. And there we go. We just restored our rims for $32. There is a little bit of orange peeling, but I believe that is mostly due to the primer and the fact that I did it outside. 